<laughs> okay, so. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we want to talk about our favorite products for blonde hair. And if we're not toning the hair with a toning shampoo or conditioner, we'll look at either strengthening it or smoothing it. Uh, and that would be two kind of different types of technology. So when you hear the words strengthening, protein, and things like that, it's working more on the inside of the hair. And when we're looking at hydration, smoothing, that sort of type of thing, cosmetic feel, we're looking at the outside of the hair, which is the cuticle. And when we're really thinking about the hair, we need to think about the two parts, the inside or the outside. So depending on the strength of the hair, depends on how much protein you need, which is strengthening the hair a little bit more. And then if the hair's feeling dry or anything like that, hydration is gonna be the thing that smooths it. Yeah, so, so we're gonna start with um, Pureology. So this is the Pureology Hydrate range. So. Um, it's a really, really, really nice range. They've just changed it to this beautiful little pink colour. Um, and That's not pink. Well, it's like a pinky lavender. I think it's purple. Yeah, but if you compare it to what it was before, we, you know, it was so purple before. That's true. It's like, it's, it's more pinky purple than it was. Um, but anyway, so this is 100% vegan, 100% um, natural. Um, it's zero sulfate. It's got no sulfates, no parabens or anything like that in it. It is Peter approved as well. And the bottle is also made with 100% recyclable materials. But more so than that, um, it smells fantastic. It smells like mint. It's got a real peppermint-y smell. I wish I could let you guys smell it. Um, the lather is brilliant. The so lather's brilliant. Even though you're using a natural product and it's vegan friendly and all this sort of stuff, and although it doesn't have directly SLS in it, uh, it kind of has like a sister type of sulfate in it. Um, it's actually really, really brilliant for lathering up the hair. It's really kind to the hair. I love it. I personally use this product and I just think it's great. And one thing I will say about the, the shampoo, so all Pureology shampoos, they come out like a slight tint of color. Um, this is actually very, very concentrated. So what you want to do is if you can see when you massage it, it turns into like a white cream. Yeah? Yeah. So that's when you're looking to use it because, and then it's not going to feel too heavy on the hair. So, like Lloyd was saying, this shampoo actually doesn't have the minty smell to it. It's the conditioner that has the more menthol smell to yeah. it. And you either love the smell or you hate it because it's really cooling to the scalp, which is nice. It almost feels like toothpaste is on the scalp or something like that. It feels, you can really feel the menthol in it. So it really calms and cools the scalp, but as well as this beautiful conditioner, it's really lightweight, which is brilliant. Yeah. Then we move on to something um, moisturizing that's slightly heavier. Um, which is your Shermer Urban Moisture range. So um, this has red algae and moringa oil extract in it. So um, basically this shampoo is, it's definitely more moisturizing than, than uh, Hydrate, would you say? I would say it's the same, it's just slightly different. Just slightly different. So this yeah. is slightly heavier. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just checking you agree. Yeah. This is slightly heavier product, so you're going to get more of a, co slightly more of a cosmetic feel with this. If yeah. your hair is, like, if your hair is severely dry, you're definitely going to feel a lot of moisturization with this. You're going to feel it really smooth. Um, it's really rich product. Now, one thing I will say about Shimmer shampoos is that they don't lather so well. So if you are expecting a real lather and you're used to having a massive lather with the hair when you're shampooing, you're probably not going to get it with this because it doesn't have a lot of like surfactants in it to make it bubble. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a slightly It's a brilliant product. It really smells nice. And if you're really into the Shermara brand, you'll absolutely love that. Now, we just wanted to kind of give an idea of hydration versus strengthening. So moving on to the strengthening side of products, we've got my favorite strengthening product, which is Therapeast. And I love this from the resistance range because it is just, Fab, you know, um, it's really concentrated. So when you do use it, it almost actually comes out like a paste. It's a bar. It's a balming shampoo. Yeah. So it like it's really it's like jelly. Like yeah. kind of, if you don't squeeze it hard enough, it sucks itself back up to the bottle. Yeah. You really have to sort of push it out a little bit. But it's a beautiful product, and it really works on strengthening up the hair. You can really feel the hair being a little bit stronger. I absolutely love this shampoo. Now, the conditioner from the Therapies range, it's not very hydrating, and you tend to find this with a lot of protein products, because with protein products, we're not really, again, working on the outside of the hair, which is smoothing the cuticle. We're working more on the inside. So you tend to find that these conditioners are just a little bit less hydrating. Sometimes, um, uh, guests have actually used the conditioner before shampooing, which has ha happened a couple of times where they would 
condition the mid lengths and ends and actually use the shampoo on top of it. But whether you do that or not, you know, I would sort of say just use the conditioner afterwards and it should be absolutely fine. Yeah. And then we move on to Silk Bloom, oh. which is just a lot of people just love this. If you are a blonde highlight guest that comes to the salon, you will love Silk Bloom because it is brilliant. It doesn't actually, sometimes with the protein hair products, shampoos, they can make the hair feel hard or crusty or, or something like that. Dry just and... Dry and open. It feels, it doesn't feel very nice like hydrating products go. So sometimes people kind of get confused about that. But Silk Bloom doesn't do that. It really strengthens up the hair without making it feel sort of very hard or yeah. you know, brittle. And the good thing about like in comparison to this one, like they, they generally say with this that you don't, you wouldn't continue using this over and over and over again. Like no. once, off, you've, done once the you've done the job, it's done. It's Whereas done. with Silk Bloom, that's something which you can continue to use, you know, forever and ever. Really, it still has a little bit of a cosmetic feel. So I think kind of, you know, as protein shampoos and strengthening shampoos go, this is kind of beaten what we're saying really because yeah. it does actually give a slight cosmetic feel and it smells amazing absolutely it's just my life so nice so people love using this product and it's so nice and the conditioner is lovely as well the restorative conditioner um, and this goes a long way as well even though your price point on Shermer is a little bit more expensive these products actually last a really long time and the conditioner lasts a really, really and long time. And the conditioners time. all have, sorry, this is a nerdy thing as well. Nerdy, they all, nerd, nerd. They all come with a nerd free moment. pump. So it actually helps you from overusing conditioners. So especially like, you know, if you've got a slightly finer texture, you don't need as much. It comes with a free, like all the, all the Shimura products come with pumps. So it really helps to keep it nice and like not overused. Uh, a last product is your Bane de Force. And it's now Bane Force Architect, isn't it now? It's literally like, this is the cult. This is the cult. If you do, if you have damaged highlighted hair, this is what people go to. Like You would have, you would have used this. Years ago. Your mom would have used this. It's, Everyone's used this product. This product is as old as days. It, it used to be like, called Bane de Force. Yeah. Um, and they used to have a slightly stronger one called Bane Force Architect, which actually, they've now changed Bane de Force to this name and this has gone in place of the stronger one. So this has outlawed the, yeah. the middle ground they used to have. But yeah. people still come in and they ask for this specifically because if your hair is feeling a little bit weak, a lot of people have used this before and they have really, really loved it. So, you know, when we get information back, we get it back from the customer coming in and as well as ourselves using it. And it's always a one hit wonder because this product does actually sometimes make the hair feel not as great. The hair is opened up during the shampoo process to allow the protein to get into the hair and that's the whole technology of it. But um, it is very good at making sure that the hair is a little bit stronger. And if you're somebody that's, you know, using bleach and having highlights and definitely Definitely living the blonde life, you're gonna want to know these products very well. Yeah. So I hope that really helps you understand the difference between protein products and hydration products and the difference that it does. And if you have any questions, definitely contact us on Facebook and Instagram. Have a look at our website to see what's going on at Scholar London. And thank you for watching. Thank you.